Good morning, F2, and welcome to our last math lesson of the week. The first thing I'd like you to do is think, what day is it today? While you're doing that, let's find the days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yesterday. It was Thursday. But what day is it today? If you said Friday, you're right. My turn. Today is Friday. Your turn. Well done. To warm up our brains today, I'd like you to do this little task first. What I'd like you to do is have a look at each of the numerals and match your Numicon pieces from your work pack to each of them. So have a look at each numeral, find the Numicon piece that matches and put them together. Pause the video while you do that, then come back and we'll check it together. Okay, now that you've had a go, let's do it together. What numeral can you see here? That's right, it's five. And here is the Numicon piece that matches five. It has two holes on one side and three holes on the other side, and all together that makes five. What about this numeral? What number is this? That's right, it's seven. Here is seven. It has three holes on one side, four holes on the other side, and all together it is seven. What about the last numeral? Well done, it's two. Here is the Numicon piece that represents two. It has one hole on this side, one hole on the other side, and all together it is two. Well done if you got those right. Now have a look at these numerals. Can you find the Numicon pieces that match them? Pause the video while you do that, then come back and we'll check it together. Okay, now that you've had a go, Let's look at these numerals. What number is this? That's right, it's number eight. And here is the Numicon piece that represents eight. It has four holes on one side, four holes on the other side. And all together, we have eight. What about this one? That's right, this one is 10. Here is the Numicon piece that represents 10. It has five holes on one side, five holes on the other side, and all together that is 10. What about the last numeral? Well done, it's six. And here is the Numicon piece that represents six. It has three holes on one side, three holes on the other side, and all together that makes six. Well done if you got those right. Today we are going to learn to identify rectangles and we're also going to be talking about what a square is too. So let's get started. Here is a rectangle. But how do I know that it's a rectangle? I know by using its properties and that's what we're going to talk about first. So let's have a look at this rectangle. How many sides can you see? Pause the video and have a look with your grown-up. Now let's have a look at them together. We have one, two, three, four sides. So the rectangle has four sides. But are they all the same? What do you think? Have a look again with your grown-up and see if you can notice anything that's different about those four sides. Okay, now you've had a look, let's look at it together. I can see that this side at the top is long. And I can see that this side on the bottom is also long. My rectangle has two long sides. 
I can see that this side is short. And this side is short too. So my rectangle has two long sides, they're the red ones, two short sides, they're the blue ones, and all together it has four sides. Now, the last thing that we need to look at is how many corners does it have? Pause the video and have a look with your grown up, then come back and we'll to find out together. Okay, now you've had a go. Let's have a look at how many corners our rectangle has. It has one, two, three, four corners. These are the properties of a rectangle. So our rectangle has four sides. Two of them are long and two of them are short. It also has four corners. Now, a rectangle has sides that are opposite each other. So if you look carefully at our rectangle, you can see that the top side is opposite the bottom side. And the side on this side is opposite the side on that side. Here, is another shape that has some properties that are similar to a rectangle because it has two short sides and two long sides, but it is not a rectangle. These sides are not opposite each other. And these sides are not opposite each other. They're going in different directions. So they're not opposite each other like on our rectangle. This shape is not a rectangle. Here is a rectangle. So our two long sides are opposite each other. On this rectangle we have one at the top and one at the bottom, they're opposite each other and we have two short sides that are also opposite each other. Now that we know about the properties of a rectangle, let's see if we can find these rectangles. Now, how do we know that the shape that we have found is a rectangle? How many sides will it have all together? That's right. I know it is a rectangle because it has four sides. Can you remember what kind of sides they have? That's right. They have two long sides and two short sides. Well done. How many corners does a rectangle have? That's right, a rectangle has four corners. Fantastic, let's start having a look at these rectangles. Hmm, can you spot any? Let's look at this shape first. It has two short sides. It has two long sides. That's four sides all together, and it has one, two, three, four corners. It has all of the properties that we need. It is a rectangle. What about this one? It has two long sides, two short sides, and one, two, three, four corners. It is a rectangle. What about the orange shape? Does that have two long sides and two short sides? No, it is not a rectangle. What about the pink shape? It has two very long sides and two very short sides. Does it have four corners? One, two, three. Oh, yes, this is a rectangle. Now, what about this little blue shape? Does that have two long sides and two short sides? No, it is not a rectangle. Let's check the last one. It has two long sides, two short sides, and one, two, three, 
four corners. It is a rectangle. Well done if you found all of the rectangles too. Now, have a look at this one. Pause the video while you have a look and find the rectangles. Before you go, let's just remind ourselves of the properties of a rectangle. So I know it is a rectangle because it has how many sides? Four sides all together. Well done. What about those sides? Two of them are long and two of them are short. Well done. And how many corners does it have? Four. Well done. So those are the properties that you are looking for to find our rectangles. Now pause the video so while you have a go and then come back and we will have a look together. Okay, now that you've had a go, let's check the shapes. So this orange shape has two long sides, two short sides, so that's four sides all together. How many corners? One, two, three, four corners. It is a rectangle. Well done if you spotted that one. What about this one? Does this one have four sides? No, it is not a rectangle. What about this one? Does it have two short sides and two long sides and four corners? No, it is not a rectangle. What about this shape? It has two long sides and two short sides, but does it have four corners? Let's find out. One, two, three, four. It does. It is a rectangle. Can this be a rectangle? Does it have four sides? two sides that are long, two sides that are short, and does it have four corners? No, it is not a rectangle. What about this one? This does not have four sides. It does not have four corners. It is not a rectangle. What about the last one? It has two short sides, two long sides, that's four sides all together, and it has one, two, three, four corners. It is a rectangle. Well done if you spotted all of those rectangles. Okay, here's your turn, chance to have another turn. Let's just look at the properties again first so that you remember them, and then you can pause the video to have a turn. So how will you know that it is a rectangle? You will know because it will have how many sides all together? Four sides all together, well done. How many sides are short? Two, well done. And how many sides are long? Two, fantastic. How many corners will it have? That's right, it will have four corners. Okay, pause the video, use the properties at the bottom of the page to help you to find the rectangles. When you've found them, come back and we will check it together. Okay, now that you've had a turn, let's check it together. So we are looking for rectangles that have two long sides. Yet yeah, this one has two long sides, two short sides. Yes, this one has two short sides. But does it have four corners? One, two, three, four. It is a rectangle. What about this shape? Does it have four sides? No, it is not a rectangle. What about this one? Can you see two long sides? Yes, here they are. Can you see two short sides? Yes, here they are. So we have four sides all together. Can you see four corners? One, two, three, four. There are four corners. This shape 
is a rectangle. What about the little blue one? It looks a bit different. Can it be a rectangle? Well, let's check. Does it have two long sides? Yes, it has two long sides. Does it have two short sides? Yes, it has two short sides, so it has four sides all together. Does it have four corners? One, two, three, four. Yes, it is a rectangle. What about the green one? Does this one have four sides all together? No. Does it have four corners? No, it is not a rectangle. What about this one? Does this one have four sides and four corners? No, it is not a rectangle. And what about the last one? Let's check. It has two long sides, two short sides. That makes four sides all together. And it has one, two, three, four corners. Yes. This one is a rectangle. Now, let's have a look and see what happens to this rectangle when we turn it around. Oh, it looks very different when we turn it around, but it is still a rectangle. It doesn't matter which way it's facing because it still has two long sides and two short sides and it still has four corners so we know that it is a rectangle. Now we're going to look at another shape now and this one's a bit different. So this shape is also a rectangle but what do you notice about the sides? What I'd like you to do is pause the video and talk to your grown-up about what you notice and come back and we'll talk about it together. Okay, what did you tell your grown-up? Did you notice that it does not have two long sides and it does not have two short sides? It doesn't look like the other rectangles that we looked at because all of its sides are the same. Now, this is a rectangle, but it's a special kind of rectangle. When a rectangle has four sides that are equal, or four sides that are the same, we call it a square. So here is a square. And I know that it is a square because it has four equal sides. My turn, your turn, equal, equal. Equal means that they are the same length. It also has four corners. So when I'm looking for a square, these are the properties that I am looking for. For equal sides, for four sides that are the same length and four corners. So let's have a look together. Can you see any shapes that have four sides that are the same or equal sides and four corners? Now, let's have a look. Does this one have four equal sides? No, it is not a square. What about this one? One, two, three, four sides and they're all the same so they are all equal. What about the corners? Does it have four corners? Let's check. One, two, three, four. This is a special rectangle. This is a square. What about this one? Does this one have four equal sides and four corners? No, it is not a square. What about this one? It has one, two, three, four sides that look the same. It has four equal sides and one, 
two, three, four corners. This one is a special rectangle called a square. What about this one? Does this one have three e four equal sides? It does have three sides. It does not have four. It is not a square. What about this one? Does this one have four equal sides and four corners? No, it is not a square. Okay, now it's your turn. Before you go to go and check for our squares, let's just go through the properties together. Okay, so you will know that it's a square because it has what? What kinds of sides does it have? That's right, it has four equal sides. That means four sides that are the same length. It also has how many corners? That's right, it has four corners. So these are the properties that you are looking for when you check for the squares. Pause the video, find the squares, then come back and we will do it together. Okay, now that you've had a turn, let's find the squares together. So we are looking for shapes that have four equal sides and four corners. Does this first shape have four equal sides and four corners? No, it is not a square. What about this one? It has one, two, three, four equal sides and one, two, three, four corners. It's a special rectangle called a square. Well done if you spotted it. What about this one? Does this one have four equal sides? Let's find out. One, two, three, four equal sides and one, two, three, four corners. It is a special rectangle called a square. What about the orange shape? Does that have four equal sides? No. Does it have four corners? No, it is not a square. What about this one? Does it have four equal sides? No. Does it have four corners? No, it is not a square. And what about this one? Does this one have four equal sides? Let's check. One, two, three, four. Does it have four corners? One, two, three, four, yes. This is a special rectangle called a square. What about the last shape? Does this one have four equal sides? No. Does it have four corners? No, it is not a square. Well done if you found all of those shapes. Now, let's have a look and see what happens when I turn the square around. Now, the square looks different as I turn it around, but it's still a square. It still has four equal sides and it still has four corners. It is still a square. Now, today, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to have a go at sorting both of these shapes. So here we have some rectangles and some squares. I'd like you to sort these shapes into the two boxes at the bottom. When you've finished that job, take a picture and send it through to your class email address so that we can find out how you've been getting on. Don't forget to look for the properties in each of the shapes to help you to identify them. That's the end of our math lesson for today. And now it is the weekend. Have a lovely weekend and I will see you on Monday. Bye.